Dear colleagues, I welcome you to the talk on role of processing treatments uh, in the quality of ice cream. As we know, ice cream is a very nutritious and delicious product, but it will be consumed only when the quality is good. Now, two things are there which influence the quality of the ice cream. One is the raw material means the different ingredients which goes into the making of ice cream and then different processing steps which are given during the manufacturing. So, today we will discuss the role of processing treatment. Now, what are the processing treatment or the steps which are there in the manufacturing of ice cream? These are selection of ingredients then formulation of the mix, third is balancing of the mix, fourth is pasteurization of the mix, then next is homogenization of the mix and then cool aging of the mix, then freezing of the mix, drying of the ice cream from the freezer when it has frozen, then packaging of the ice cream, its hardening in the hardening room, then transportation and storage. So, these are different steps which goes into the manufacturing of the ice cream. Now, I will discuss role of each steps, uh, what role it plays in the quality of the ice cream. First comes the selection of ingredient, fresh and quality ingredients should be selected, because if the ingredients are not fresh, particularly the milk products, then ice cream quality will not be good, means there will be off flavor or oxidized flavor in the ice cream. Hence, the fresh and quality ingredients should be selected. Then there are different sources to select the milk fat, but it should be selected either from fresh cream or fresh butter, means if the fat is selected from the frozen ice cream or stored ice cream or stored butter or butter oil, then quality will not be good. Then milk solid not fat, means other milk constituent than fat, they should be from high heat skim milk powder or from high heat condensed milk only then quality of the ice cream will be better. Then the a combination of stabilizers more than one should be selected. So, this is regarding the role of selection of different ingredients. Second comes the formulation and blending of the mix. What happens once we have selected the ingredients that these are the ingredients, then they are mixed first the liquid ingredients are taken into the vat, mixing vat and then solid ingredients are added, except coloring matter and flavoring compound. They are added just before the freezing of the mix. Now, there are different stabilizers which are used in the ice cream, but if sodium alginate is used as a stabilizer it should be added only in the hot mix, first the mix should be heated, only then it should be added or it can be added after pasteurization. Then next comes the balancing of the mix. Balancing way means that every ingredient in the ice cream should be in a appropriate amount. Say for example, if the MSNF is higher, then it will create problem. If it is lower in that case also there will be problem. Means any of the ingredients, whether it is a stabilizer or the emulsifier, it is milk fat or the milk sugar, every ingredient it should be in appropriate amount. That is called balancing of the mix. If something is higher, we will reduce it. If something is lower, we will increase its amount. Now, certain things say for example, the amount of MSNF 
or milk solid not fat depend on the turnout. If turnout is faster, then more MSNF can be used. Turn, uh, faster turnout we means that after manufacturing of ice cream, how much time is taken to consume the ice cream? If it is consumed immediately within one or two days, we say that turnover is faster. If it is stored for several days or so to say for month, then turnover is slow. So, if turnover is faster, more MSNF can be added because it is uh, you can say cheaper ingredient of the ice cream mix. But if turnover is uh, slow or it is not so quick, then less amount of MSNF should be used. So, this is about the balancing of the mix. Then comes role of the pasteurization. Once the mix has been uh, everything has been mixed, then we take the mix to the pasteurizer plant where it is heated at 78 degree centigrade or 80 degree centigrade for 15 minutes. Why this pasteurization treatment is given to the ice cream mix? It is given to mix all the ingredients which are there to increase the shelf life because the pasteurization heating during pasteurization will kill all the bacteria, inactivate the enzymes which are present in the mix, inactivate the bacterial spores which are present. So, it will increase the shelf life. Then it provides stability to the mix during freezing. There is no separation of fat, there is no separation of whey. So, stability is provided by the pasteurization. It improves the whipping ability. What is the whipping ability? Uh, it is incorporation of air. How it is good? Better whipping ability we say when the incorporation of air is faster, we say whipping ability is good. If it is in the form of small air cells, we say whipping ability is good. And when the maximum overrun which can be obtained is higher, we say whipping ability is good. So, the pasteurization improves the whipping ability of the ice cream mix. Then it provides a smooth body and texture, prevent coarse texture and prevent sandiness. Sandiness is there in the ice cream when we consume the ice cream. Some crystals are felt at the tongue in the mouth and these are lactose crystals. If they are big, this defect is called as sandiness. Then next comes role of homogenization. After pasteurization, the mix is cooled to about 60 to 65 degree centigrade and then it is homogenized. What is homogenization? It is a equipment in which a piston is there through which the milk is passed and during passage of the mix uh, from this uh, you can say uh, instrument, what happens that the fat globules which are present in the mix, they are broken into smaller ones. So, the fat will not churn or the globules will not form uh, you can say combined together and butter grains will not be formed. So, because of this we homogenize the mix. So, it prevents churning of milk fat, improves whipping ability. If churning of the fat is not there, then whipping ability or incorporation of air is better. Prevent uh, sandiness in the ice cream and coarse texture, sandy and coarse texture it prevents. Because what happen? When ice cream mix is homogenized, it increases the viscosity of the mix. When viscosity is higher, the ice crystals and lactose crystals, they will be smaller in size. So, it prevent sandy texture and the coarse texture. Then prevent fluffy texture. T 
structure will not be fluffy, it will be smoother. So, this is the role of the homogenization. Then role of cool aging of the mix. Next step is cool aging. After homogenization, the mix is stored at very low temperature, say at 2 degrees centigrade uh, or minus 2 degrees centigrade temperature is kept and it is stored to about 4 to 6 hours. Earlier the practice was to store the mix for 24 hours or so at this low temperature, but now with the you can say advancement in the processing means the new freezer, the continuous freezer have come. So, now the mix is cool aged for about 4 to 6 hours at 2 degree centigrade. Now, what is the role of cool aging? The role of cool aging is to provide stability to proteins. The milk proteins which are there in the mix, they will get stabilized because they will absorb water and when hydration of the protein is there, they become more stable. They will not coagulate or they will not denature. Then prevent churning of milk fat. The cool aging what happens that when the mix is cooled and it is aged at that low temperature, then most of the fat is converted into solid fat. Liquid fat becomes solid and when whole of the fat is in the solid form, the churning will not be there or you can say breakdown of the fat globules or formation of butter grains will not be there. So, it prevents churning of milk fat. It improves the whipping ability. When churning of milk fat is less or very low, then incorporation of air will be good, it will be faster and it will be in the form of very small air cells and the maximum overrun which can be attained will be higher. So, the cool aging improves the whipping ability of the mix and it provide a smooth texture to the product. Then role of freezing of the mix. Now, what is freezing when the mix is cool aged for 4 to 5 hours, then it is taken and it is taken into the freezer where the temperature is decreased continuously and the air is whipped into the mix. So, this we call freezing of the mix. Two things are happening together simultaneously. One is the temperature is being decreased and air is being incorporated. As a result of decreased in temperature, whole the water which is present in the ice cream will get converted into ice and how much water is converted into ice that depends on the temperature of freezing lower the temperature more water will be converted into ice and also the duration of freezing longer the freezing more water will be converted into ice. So, freezing convert the water into ice, the fat globules they become drier. So, fat it will not be liquid, but it will it will become solid as a result the air which is being incorporated into the mix that will not go out from the mix, it will remain inside the mix and we can say that overrun will be better. So, two fold aim is there of freezing, one is decrease in temperature and second is incorporation of air. So, it aids in whipping of the air provide body and texture to the ice cream means when the water is converted into ice there is a uh, firmer body and a smoother texture of the ice cream. Slow freezing yield coarse and sandy texture. Now, freezing whether it is slow or faster that also will influence the quality of the ice cream fast freezing will give a smoother texture to the ice cream, whereas the slow cooling will give or slow freezing 
will yield core structure of the ice cream. Then extrusion or drying of the ice cream from the freezer once it is it has frozen that temperature at what temperature it is done that also influence the quality. Lower the temperature at which the ice cream is drawn from the freezer better will be the texture of the ice cream. So, the drying temperature or extrusion temperature will also influence the quality of the ice cream. Then roll of packaging of ice cream. The role of packaging is just to provide protection to the product, make the product attractive. If packaging is good, in you can say when you see if you feel that packaging is good, then it is attract the people or the consumers. Particularly, the more consumers are children. So, if packet is attractive, then they will be. Uh, attracted to the ice cream although they like it, but more attractive is the package more attractive will be children. Then improves the marketing and sale when more attraction of the consumers is there the marketing and sales will improve. Then role of hardening of ice cream what happens that if you take ice cream from the freezer as we have taken it out the temperature is about minus 5 to 6 degrees centigrade. Now, if we take it, we can consume it, there is no problem, but we cannot keep it. If we keep it, it will melt. So, what we do it with it, after it has been frozen and it has been packed, we keep it in the cold room where the temperature is very low as low as minus 30 degrees centigrade. Now, this process is known as hardening of the ice cream and it is very good for the product because it makes the product firm and hard, provide the body to the product about 80 to 85 percent water is converted into ice and fast cooling during hardening make the ice cream more smooth. Now, what happens to the ice cream when it is withdrawn from the freezer about 50 to 55 percent water is converted to ice. When it goes into the hardening room then about 80 to 85 percent of water is converted into ice. After taking from the hardening room, when it goes to the retailer's cabinet and kept there for several days, then about 90 to 95 percent of the water is converted into ice. So, during hardening about 80 to 85 percent of the water is converted into ice. 100 percent conversion of water into ice is not there, because as we freeze more and more water means more water is converted into ice, there is a decrease in the freezing point of the mix. So, never 100 percent water is converted into ice. Then fast cooling as I have told you make the ice cream smooth. Then role of transportation of the product. When product is reach the consumers, it is the role of the transportation and transportation must be in the refrigerated trucks, dry ice or frozen brine. So, this is regarding the role of transportation and uh, of the ice cream. Then last but not the least the role of storage. What happens not only the good quality of raw material and proper processing treatment make good quality ice cream, but there is a role of storage also in keeping ice cream good. Because what happens if there is a temperature fluctuation during a storage of the ice cream mix, 
then the texture of the ice cream will become coarse and sandy because when there is a fluctuation in the temperature, temperature goes on, then some of the ice is converted into water. Hence, the air cells which are there in the mix, they will go out and there will be shrinkage in the ice cream and texture will be coarse and sandy. So, there should not be any fluctuation in the temperature during freezing. So, this is about the role of different processing treatments in the quality of ice cream. As I have told you that there are three things which make the good quality ice cream. One is the raw material or the different ingredients which goes into the mix. Second is processing treatments, different processing steps which are given to the ice cream mix they should be given properly only then quality will be good. And then the storage, storage uh, should be in the retailer's cabinet, storage should be at a temperature which is not fluctuating. If there is a fluctuation as I have told you there will be deterioration in the quality. The shrinkage will be there in the ice cream and also there will be sandiness and coarseness in the product. So, there should not be any temperature fluctuation uh, during storage of ice cream. Thanks, this is what I want to say.